the morning of the third day. You can see from the sun, it's going to be a bit smoky today. I think it's smoky pretty much everywhere in the northwest, so that's what we're in for. He's got no brake pads. It's always something. Cause we gotta work on our pre-maintenance checklist. Dude, uh, we got a giant gun up there. A aimed right at Port Townsend. Oh, there's a lighthouse. Admiralty Head Lighthouse. Oh, I'm doing this circle. Dude, that'd be pretty cool to see an event here. That must have been really fun. Uh-oh. I'm on the outside. <laughs> <laughs> Past Fort Casey, Whidbey Island, now we're heading towards Deception Pass. Excited to show me the uh, Deception Pass Bridge. Hopefully the tide's going in or out. Been out here in a long time. This is a beautiful island. Oh. So no parking at that sign forward or right here? I'm not even taking my helmet off. Don't drop your phone. So you'll see like standing waves through here as all that water rips through here and out to the Straight of Juan de Fuca during a big tide change. So I made a comment on the ferry there about Lee's rear brake. Um, we were sitting there waiting for the boat to come in and we had heard, or I had heard a noise on the right over there. I thought it was coming from my bike. Turns out it was Lee's rear wheel was making some, like a dragging noise on the, on the disc. We took a closer look at the pads and his brake pads were completely worn out. Um, he does ride it daily as his commuter bike, uh, as well as these long trips. So something he just missed on the uh, the prep for the ride. So it's kind of an issue because we're day two into a seven day ride and he really doesn't have any brake pad left on the rear tire or rear wheel. So we're gonna have to see what we can do about that and it may have to uh, make some changes to where we're going based on whether we can get parts. So we're on Chuckanut Road, which is Highway 11. We're avoiding I-5 from Basically, Anacortes up to Bellingham. We are in a tsunami zone now, so Lee's real worried. We saw the Chuck and Nut Road and had to make that. Had to do it. Alright, this looks awesome. I'm gonna leave it rolling for a bit because this looks windy.
is way better than I-5. Lee's driving like he thinks he has a rear brake. <laughs> Do I see what? Smoke? Yep. That's odd. Ooh, 15 mile per hour. I like that new glow ring light you have on your rear tire. <laughs> All right, so we are in smoky border crossing was a breeze the guy was super cool we'll uh, make sure we do a real good comparison to how that experience is on the way back in I've never had a pleasant one coming back to the US but anyways uh, Canadian Border Patrols they're cool speed limits are really really slow up here I was able to switch the GPS over to kilometers an hour but the speed limit is 70 kilometers an hour which is 40. It's on the highway, so pretty damn slow. Uh, we had to change up our plan a little bit. We're not going to go to Whistler today. Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> I stalled it. <laughs> on camera, I need to do a new clip now, damn it. Because of the need for some brake pads, we're going to run the route we were going to do backwards here in Canada. So we end up back in Vancouver on Tuesday when the BMW dealership is open so we can get some pads. Just going to have to run it the way it is until then. It's like metal on metal, but it does stop. But now his disc is pretty shot, so we we'll need a disc and pads. Hopefully they have it. Um, but yeah, that's it. We're in Canada. We're going to just ride today until we see somewhere good to camp. And then tomorrow we'll ride, uh, we're heading towards Kamloops now, and then we'll ride from camp wherever we end up today over to Whistler tomorrow and uh, camp there and then down to Vancouver on Tuesday, get the part, fix it, and then go on to uh, figure out how we're gonna get home because it, it's a little bit different start point on the return. So uh, that's the plan, and we're in Canada. got done at the brewery it's really beautiful here maybe but it's super smoky so we're gonna gear back up we got about two hours to maybe camp find a spot we're gonna hit the grocery store get some water and supplies 
then on to Nicole Lake. Yeah, it's Nicole Lake. This is where we're staying. Hopefully tonight we're going up to the Monk. Monk Campground. Hopefully there's some room. It's about 6.15. Cooled down a lot all of a sudden. Beautiful our, uh, hay fields out here. It smells great. <laughs> There's two bears. A bear with a cub. Right there. That with my phone. Hey, Mama Bear. Do it again. Mama bear with two cubs. Sorry, I'm blocking that GoPro. I hear a cub. <laughs> uh, we better be careful camping tonight. Yeah. All right, we made it here to Nicole Lake, campsite 40. Our uh, camp host Sue hooked us up with this awesome campsite. Yeah. The lake is right there. It's a little smoky, but it's right down the hill. Might even go for a swim. Yeah. Uh, set up some tents, get camp going, and uh, it's a great little park to come to too if you're up here. It's so pretty. Oh, and I'll show the clip. I probably may have already saw a bear and a cub on the way up the road here. So yeah. road raging, the bear was yeah. chasing the. Hopefully cub. they don't come visit us tonight. Oh, yeah, yeah. Fun. All right, day three. Yeah. Day three. Day three. Day three. Okay. So here's a sitch. We're all packed up again. Leaving Nicola Lake. You can see the sun up there. It's very smoky. You can barely see the lake through the trees. Change the plan again. We are going to where are we going? Revelstoke. Revelstoke instead of Whistler. And then we're gonna go down to uh, all the way down from Revelstoke into Spokane to get the parts for Lee's bike. Um, so I think that's gonna be a, a fun change in the trip. Instead of looping back around Whistler and then end up where we just were, we're gonna just keep heading east and uh, smoke's supposed to get worse. So that's why we decided to do that. <laughs> it's smoky everywhere, it didn't really matter. So anyway, we're getting started today and uh, bikes are all packed up. I'm gonna try out this 360 cam on a pole today. That extends way up play around with that a little bit if we get into some area that might be interesting see how that turns out all right all right we're leaving Nicola Lake heading for Revelstoke and you can see the smoke situation it ain't good it's probably beautiful but we can't tell hopefully it'll get better but it may get worse so there's a lake down there
probably why I'm probably gonna grab them, but it's not a bad road. It's packed, compacted, not loose gravel. So yeah, there you go, another leg. view of smoke. And the park ranger wearing a mask while driving in his car by himself. Well, there's the wharf. It's pretty cool. It's a load unload zone. Stoke four hours later. There it is. The back of a truck. Man, that river is moving. The Stoke Hotel. I love it. Just live here. Shelter Bay Ferry. We're parked up around the corner. We missed it by 15 minutes. It goes every hour. We knew that, but we just didn't hit it right. So somewhere on the other side of the smoke, we'll get to the other side. Right across and see the ferry coming in, but not 
Shelter Bay waiting for the ferry. wasn't smoky. See where we're going. Heading to Keslo through Trout Lake and we're back on gravel again. So about two hours, 15 minutes to Keslo, which looks like a cool little town. So we're kind of excited to check that out. Uh, there should be some camping spots according to a local just past Keslo. And there's a little hot spring there too. We'll be checking that out. Uh, puts us there though around 7 so we may have to find a spot before we get there we'll see but uh, yeah heading up to we're coming up on Trout Lake next so I've been playing around with this 360 cam I use it a lot more in my flying videos but um, it's got some neat perspective for doing some cool shots with the motorcycles the problem is the sound so the sound drops out because it's really loud with the uh, lousy sound audio that comes with this uh, setup um, and I'm actually thinking about possibly going to even the newer version to get a little bit better video quality All right, we're coming into Trout Lake 97 kilometers till the next fuel just fine because we uh, just got it oh that's some weird looking water Blue. Alright, try lake. Actually, that was the little town. We're coming up on the lake here in a minute. Look how clear that water is. Wow. So this is Trout Lake. It's all gravel all the way around. I'll show you how clear this water is without dropping my phone. It's so beautiful. That is some clear water. Beautiful. Trout Lake. Bald eagle right there. Oh, a big old bald eagle. Bottle. What was that you cut out? Kootenai Lake, still smoky, so we're going all the way down Kootenai Lake to Keslo, and then we're going to start looking for camping areas, or possibly the Keslo Hotel, they looked really cool, like an old western style hotel, I don't know, it's getting kind of late, it's already 6, 10, so we got 
about an hour behind on the ferry because we just missed it. So anyway, almost done for the day. Oh, look at that. The sun up in that valley. Sure. So we're in the Keslo Hotel, sweet room, very tasty, tasty, very tastefully done. Now here we've got our own private deck for morning espresso. Mountains out here, imagine it without smoke. And you got Main Street, bikes right there. Beautiful sunset just happened, just missed it. But really cute downtown here in Keslow.